We come to Bluebell Lakes near Peterborough. It's uh, one of the country's most uh, well-known and highly regarded carp fisheries. Certainly as far as day ticket places goes, this is amongst the top. And we've been wanting to come for a while. Um, it's not ridiculous, it's about a two hour drive from where all of us live respectively. So, um, but yeah, we're here for 72 hours and there's a real chance of breaking a PB here. In the reception at Bluebell is an on-site tackle shop, which is really handy if you need to top up on bait or you've forgotten some bits of terminal tackle. Actually quite a wide range of stuff that they stock. As you can see, they've got stuffed fish up on the walls. Some of them records from the lakes, like Benson. Um, some caught elsewhere. There's a, a roach caught by John Wilson in the 1970s. It's really quite inspirational stuff. It, it, you see those and you really want to get cracking and trying to catch some of those fish. There were good clean toilets and a shower which is really nice. And there's little charging lockers where you can put your phone in and put it on charge or other little devices and lock them up securely. There are five lakes on the site um, and you can reserve a peg on any of the lakes with a sticker that reception will supply so you can put it on your bucket. Now this is a really good system I think. Um, I don't like having to reserve a swim in advance and then finding that the fish are all up the other end of the lake. The bucket thing can cause a bit of controversy if it's not officially accepted, some people like it, some people hate it. Here it's the way they do it and it works really well. After a good walk around all the lakes, we elected to fish Mallard, which is the biggest of the lakes. And we hadn't seen any actual fish show at this point, but we chose the swims on the basis that the wind was pushing into there. The baits we're using on this trip, um, we're using a uh, good old sweet corn. We've got um, some, uh, some hemp. And for us, the, uh, well, the faithful uh, mainline cell. Fish love hemp and just a little tiny bit of hemp oil goes a long way and hopefully when the fish grub around on the bottom they, the, um, you should see signs on top of the water to say that they're there. So but also just a little bit of smart liquid, not too much, but <clears throat> if I can get it out. Again, this goes up and down the water column. We can just scoop it up, push it in the bait boat. Hands are nice and clean. But uh, if you knock it up ahead of time, like we have, that just gives it a chance to fuse together. Wayne was in first with an early bite, which turned out to be this nice 16 pounder. Not exactly the stamp of fish we'd travelled for, but an encouraging start. My first fish of the trip was a tench. Not the target species, but a new PB for me at £5.11. Pretty pleased with that.
damn it. What happened there? losing the fish, Adam was kicking himself. And then his alarm went into meltdown. I think we need to weigh it because I think that's even just yeah. Are you good? Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, that's heavy. It is heavy. That is very heavy. Okay. There we go. That is. Oh, fucking winner. You jammy fucker. 30 pounds fucking eight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now what? Well, King, back down. Just grab that end. Oh. You got it? Grab that, yeah. that. Grab that end. Yeah. That's it. Oh. 30 pounds eight. What do you say? I mean, uh. Oh, it is it? It's nice. Like, that, that was kind of the. Well, the aim of the game. Coming here was to was to get a thirty, but I, I wasn't sure it was going to happen. Well, I, I really had my doubts for a while there. Uh, yeah, but lo losing that fish earlier, you know, you sort of, you, yeah, you sort of think to yourself, you know, was that your opportunity when that something like that happens? Fish. Mate, that's awesome. <laughs> Well, that is the biggest carp I've ever caught. That is very, very cool. Can we uh, spin it around to have a look at the other side? <laughs> well, coming to Bluebell was uh, a really good idea, lads. I'm well happy with that. That has definitely yeah, made my yeah. trip. PB. Yeah. He's been saving that for ages. How long? I don't know. I'm savouring it. It's been wait if he's been waiting for me to catch a 30, a long time. <laughs> if it's whiskey, then that's been good stuff because up to 15, PB. 15 no. years and I say it's best. Mm. What do you reckon? That's not bad. Mm. 
So how is it, the catch of 30? Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, that was really yeah. good. Yeah, great. I would like, I didn't, because I, I lost that fish earlier and I was pretty good because that felt like a big fish. Mm. But if anything, it probably wasn't as big as that one. It might have been, it might have been similar because mm. it had plenty of power, but it was, it was zooming around faster. And then that one was slower and a bit more plodding and mm. just stayed deep. And at one point I thought, I think it's just weeded me up and I don't even know if there's a fish on here. But it hadn't really, it was just, just holding and just not going anywhere. It's just like, just sort of like standstill, you know, like you're, the pressure of the rod and the pressure of the fish were just cancelling one another out. So like, and then it kind of kicked and took a load of line. I was like, oh no, it is, it is definitely still there. Kind of woke up. It's all about holding it after. Well, well, that, I mean, that's one thing when you catch uh, one, you know, when you've got it on the line. But yeah. what about when you're when you get it in and you have to deal with it on the map. Well, you saw what a masterful job I did of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. the adrenaline's yeah, still kicking in. You're still like... Oh, there's the adrenaline, but also, like, I haven't ever caught a carp that size before. Yeah, you get And it. they're slippery and quite heavy, actually, when you hold them out like that. And, and you're kind of, like, concerned because you don't want to hurt it, so you're like, you know... Yeah. Uh, and like I said, I don't know how people do that with like a 50 pounder, that, that's that got to take some practice, seriously, to, to kind of... Well, they're in here. Well, yeah, you know, but I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind catching a few... No, a 50? Not. Just 47. about. Oh, 47. Oh, 40, 47. 47. If you want 50, you need to go next oh, to Really? Well, I, 47. 47's close enough, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. So that's another, what, 17 pound more? Yeah. yeah. And well, that's the weird thing, that, that fish has only beaten my PB by what, six pound? Yeah. But it feels a lot more than, it, like the difference is, that doesn't, that doesn't cover it, you know, like the, how it looks and how it, how it handles and everything, how it is to hold a fish that's over 30 pounds, it, that seems like more of a difference than six pound. Mm. And you've had a 30. And you've had a 30, yeah. yeah. But I yeah. still think it's easy to be like misled by all the, videos and stuff like all the professional videos on YouTube and all the stuff people who are spending all their time fishing in the like tackle companies bait companies catching 30s all the time that's still not most people's experience is it like no you know that evening Andy was in and with what we know of the lake every bite could be a new PB Another PB. Could be. I reckon that might go. Might go 24. Move it a bit, boy. All right, ready? Yep. Go for it. Proof the Bruce. Have we done it again? Yeah. 23.15. Right. Um, the PB done then? Yep. PB. <laughs> A little bigger than that, but deceiving. But I'll take that.
waiting for the night and at 12.30 I was awoken to my alarm melting off. This fish was a good one with line peeling off the spool. You talk that up with your uh, arm, it doesn't work. I'm going to get a high bite. Maybe not that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's bigger than you think. That's a lot bigger than you think. Whew. He's a proper chunk. Four eight. Four eight. That's that's What a beaut. The scaling of that. Hey, that is a nice one. Huh. Beautiful. Right, let's put it back. Ready? Yep. Look at that. asking uh, what uh, what rigs we've been using and stuff so uh, I thought I'd mention it on the video this time so uh, here at, uh, at Bluebell it's barbless only and if you get caught using anything else you're off it really is quite strict so um, I purchased some spinner rigs in the shop and they sell it all they've got everything in the shop so um, you know there's no way you can't follow the rules because they sell them all anyway um, this is what I got it's a um, a quarter spinner rig curved barbless uh, number six and um, I just 
I just tied a, uh, like a stiff boom to the bottom of it so I could connect it up but uh, that's how they that's how they work and these are what we're using as well these are mainline wafters uh, and they're fruity squid yeah that's what uh, that's what we're using we started catching and um, I think I was the first to catch on the on the pink and uh, I put it on both my rods eventually then Adam um, put use pink and he's using pink as well and uh, we all seem to be catching so um, yeah obviously you go with um, go with, I mean if someone else was catching and I wasn't then I wouldn't have I would have switched but we seem to be doing all right with the pink so if that's a tip then uh, obviously that probably won't work on um, on some of the others because there's about five lakes here at, uh, at Bluebell but um, just see a fish jump um, but obviously we're on Mallard um, so I suppose the tip for Mallard maybe is get on the pink <laughs> the pressure was on Andy. With the size of the fish in the lake, do we dare to believe? Joking. <laughs> no, 30. 30. 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you teared all the net well done. Well done, mate. Wow. Well, no, they beat me turned. 30, 34, and I was, like, I was starting to cry in there all night. <laughs> 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 you didn't you? Done it twice now. Yeah. Done it twice, yeah. I was happy with that because that 22 has been haunting me for years. Right, come on, let's get some pictures right, of this. Can you lift it more? No, my arms are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Time to toast another PB, fifth one between the three of us. What a trip, mission fully accomplished for all of us. This is why we go fishing and why we put up with the chill breeze and bad weather. And actually, seeing the other guys catch their big ones was almost as much fun as catching my own, especially seeing Andy break his really long held PB. I suppose we should say thank you to Bluewell Lakes. It's three days of fishing we will never forget. <laughs>